Hey there, uh, Bourbon Street Joe here. Uh, aiming for a quick one today. Um, I know I always say that and uh, may or may not be right. Um, so this will be between uh, last unboxing and my Halloween video, which I hope goes well, but eh, you never know. Um, anyway, I have one of these. Um, now this is a Russian ration. Um, <sighs> Other than the big ones with the carry handles or the plastic trays that are the mountain rations, there seems to be a lot of confusion. Uh, and, and I'm not, you know, I'm not K-Man. I'm not uh, um, a lot of the more knowledgeable people on MREinfo.com. Um, I just kind of hang out there sometimes. Um, so I, I honestly think this is a civilian um, ration. This is not an authentic Russian military ration. Um, I'm not 100% sure of that. But it, again, there's a lot of stuff out there, that, like the the, um, the Sturm rations and, and other things that, that have different pouches in them and, you know, they go away from the canned stuff. And the components seem to be pretty much universal so you know some of the other ones they have interesting stuff in them which strikes me as very odd because the so pardon me again the russian not soviet stuff is is quite uniform um there may be slight variations but not like anything really interesting um and i can provide a translation for what that means because i did and can't remember it uh, off the top of my head. Um, and I, I have translated this. Um, anyway, this is... This is given to me by a, a fellow reviewer. Um, so your, your best before is um, uh, 19th day of the fifth month of 2022. So it's a little bit out of date, but um, we'll crack into this. <clears throat> we'll see what we have, um, see what we can do with it. And um, there's going to be a bit of an addition to it as well. Um, again, with the whole off the internet, eBay, um, <clears throat> is it legit? Mm, can't say for sure. Um, um, again, this I don't believe this is military, uh, but the other stuff... Claims to be from a Russian commissary, which apparently you can buy from. Um, so kind of like, you know, buying stuff from the PX, I guess. Um, but more so in like the mess hall um, as opposed to going to the PX. So anyway, um, plastic wrapper. And again, there is our... In case anybody wants to pause and translate all of that. Again, I already have, so I vaguely know what's in here. Um, simple cardboard box. Boom. So we have a napkin. That's pretty sad. That's not even like a decent piece of paper towel. That's yikes. Shiny as heck. Probably will not <clears throat> capture much of anything. That's an isotonic drink. This is our famous, infamous apple jam jelly butter stuff. Again, universal. Russian component, um, apple jelly, or apple butter jelly jam, whatever it is. Um, it's always in there. Um, so the isotonic, uh, is going to come in at 25 grams. Your apple stuff is, uh, 45 grams. Um, we have a Wet wipe. Uh, no idea on that, but whatever. Uh, this is 
going to be a processed cheese, which sounds tasty as heck. Whatever that means. Um, so this is going to be like a... Uh, blanking on that. Um, kind of like a... Not like necessarily an American cheese, but it, it, it's a processed, sterilized cheese. Um, huh. Probably salt. Probably pepper. Probably 20 grams of sugar for... Well, let's get our beverages out. We have some tea. Black tea. So they're expecting us to dump 20 grams of sugar into one cup of black tea. Yikes. Oop. Apparently the spoon wants to be heard, seen, and already like, yeah, nice, nice quality control, guys. Yikes. And this one, you could try. Um, it just basically is 250 grams of canned vegetables and meat. Or meat and vegetables, depending on the order. And again, I don't read Cyrillic, but... Uh, and that's, I'm assuming, 080720. So that's your packaging date. Because that is also here. So that's probably the seventh day of the eighth month, I'm guessing. Um, one package of our wonderful crackers, which apparently are always stale. Uh, then we have that, which I will translate. And, oh good lord, it's on the back too. Okay, I'll translate. The slides. We'll see what that actually says. There's that. And oddly enough, I actually had the scale ready primed, ready to go. Absolutely forgot it yet again. Now that I tossed the spoon, I don't care about the spoon. Uh, the spoon's probably going to weigh about, you know what, I'll just be weird, strange, and go get that. Just to be totally accurate, that weighs 606 grams or 1 pound, 5.3 ounces. Because that spoon just sucks, so not happening. So we will put aside this because don't need that. That, 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 that can go with a spoon. That <clears throat> leaves us with that. And now for the, and I won't weigh it, the auxiliary portion as it were, was, is. Um, again, some stuff advertised, eBay, eh, 
legit? I'm not sure, but vaguely interesting. So I have, I did also purchase some, and a, discerning tastes may find out, and I don't know which is which. Now, there is a beef jerky. There is apparently two types of chicken breast jerky somewhere in here as well. So the beef is spicy, the chicken is regular, and the chicken is truffle flavored. Now, whether that's legit or whether that's just somebody home, I, I don't know. And then I bought some jams, which apparently are available in Russian commissaries. Um, so I figured, hey, let's two for one. Let's break this all out um, and try not only the apple butter jam jelly whatever it is on these um but try the other supposed stuff um now i have as far as the internet and Cyrillic goes um i've sought out this sorry that company name um or pardon me I guess that company name. Um, they are a commercial manufacturer of jams and jellies. Now, whether that's um, something that would officially supply a Russian mess hall or Canix, which is Canadian Exchange, which would be, or PX, which would be what the Americans have, um, or whether this is somebody literally going down to Denny's grabbing some stuff off the table and then selling it on ebay and making their own jerky and doing i i, I can't i don't know i can't vouch for that but um, so this one is marmalade orange marmalade strawberry And again, the, the, the packaging as well is like, eh, well, somebody's sending it. Suspect? Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Don't know. Um, that one is raspberry. This one is a sour cherry. Because when I saw the listing, I thought, hey, let's, let's try at least one of each, right? Because why not? Um, could be a genuine thing. Um, if I have, and I highly doubt it with the number of subscribers I have, but if I have somebody that reads Russian, um, Mfos maybe, if you, I know you're Finnish, but you're, you're kind of next door to these people, uh, maybe, I, I don't know. Like if, if you can maybe let me know. If, Peach, apricot, yeah, I went kind of heavy on the jam thing, um, there is a blueberry, yep, that's the blueberry, and that is cranberry, and the other thing I got was a wafer wafer bar so I, I don't know if that's like a here we go let's see if it'll focus whether it's kind of like a I don't know kind of a hazelnut thing like a bueno or, or something like that but uh, I will start the stove I will put this on there, um, probably after I crack it, because I don't need the same uh, mistake I made last time, uh, which was funny as hell, but uh, eh, whatever. Um, 
Anyway, I will start the stove, prep some bevies, and then um, I'll see you in a bit. Be right back. Thanks. Okay, we're back. So we have our beef and buckwheat, which is what it translated to, um, going in the, uh, the pot over here, um, just to warm it up. Apparently I can't figure that out for the life of me. We have our black tea. Um, it, it may have instructions. It's tea, um, hot water, tea bag. We're okay. Not a big deal. Isotonic. Uh, 200 mils of water is what it calls for. So I have that in the glass there. Um, not a handy tear notch in sight, so. Rip that open, try not to spill everything. Oh, she's a little clumpy. That's fine. A little out of date, kind of, yeah. Oh, that's... That's an interesting smell. Actually, that's kind of like a... No, I won't say peach, but it's... Kind of intriguing. And I will use my Canadian KFS because I just can't be bothered to reach behind the scenes and figure about my Eastern European one. Uh, that's, yeah. Now it's going to be a while. So we'll just leave that alone. Um. Wet nap. Try that. Works eh. fairly standard. Foil lined on the inside. That is not very moist. It's cloth, not. Paper, but eh, not bad. Has no smell, but like I said, very, very dry. So, probably close to the end of its life expectancy. Yeah, we can tear it apart, but I'm gonna work with it. Not a big deal. Um, so. <sighs> Especially with Russian rations, I mean, everybody will notice that, and the common complaint is, like even a 24-hour Russian, oh my God, there's 80 grams of sugar, there's, everything is so greasy, why is it? That's because it's easier to put less effort into certain things, right? Like, so again with the as i was explaining like there's very little variation right like you're gonna have your apple butter or your jam jelly whatever it is it's always going to be there that flavor of isotonic drink is probably you know going to be fairly universal you may have some variations but as you can tell by the sugar it's just a you know, it's a it's a coarse sugar, which is probably what's in here. Um, so it's it's not a lot of not necessarily a lot of thought, but like let's just make it uniform, right? Like we have that the sugar looks like that. The biscuits are this. There's no real variation um, because. 
like from a grunt's point of view, they don't care. Like it, it, it's not like the American MREs where you want, hey, do you want a Southwestern bowl? Do you want um, chicken chunks? Do you want tuna? Do you want spinach fettuccine? Do you want M and M's? Do you want Reese's Pieces? Do you want um, grape or lemon lime? Or no, you get that drink, that tea, that jelly, those crackers, that mame that's warming up, and it by standardizing everything, it makes it just so much simpler, right? Um, so, am I going to put this and that? Yeah. Probably not. Um, does that meal boiling away mean this or that? Mm, maybe. Like, I mean, a lot of the stuff is fairly bland, so... Uh, again, are, are these... myriad jams and jellies that I got actually from a Russian mess hall, or are they just from Denny's? the way the Russian military works. Eh. Um, and again, there's there's no political agenda behind this. So I'm not criticizing them specifically. Um, the two things I hate most are religion and politics because it's never a discussion that can just be had. It's very emotional. It's very involved. I understand that. Um, that is not what this channel is about. Uh, never has been. Oh, there we go. So, dissolving, finally. Um, but again, is any of this realistic? Meh. But, you know, we can try this with those and that and, and, and see what's going on. Uh, I will turn the main off because she's looking pretty good. Um, and then, I honestly, I think we've stirred that enough, so let's try it. Again, has that vague, might be peach. Some kind of fruit smell, for sure. It's tasty. I'm sorry about the camera in there. That's good. I mean, it doesn't taste like vitamins. It's, yeah, that's... Wow. Get these open. Pull one out. There's a nice baked scent to it. She's pretty hard, but we will actually pull all six out because we're going to get busy with everything. So I'm going to go with savory first and this should be our processed cheese. Which it is. And I will good lord Eventually break one of these. Try some of this on that. Now I've heard you can heat this, the cheese, and uh, create some sort of fondue-y kind of spready thing. Up, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, double dip. a nice crunch they're not stale they're not rancid I actually like those cheese is definitely processed 
as you can tell by it shattering. I like that. And again, I'm weird. So, hmm. Um, yep. The famous apple butter. Yep, definitely more like a like a apple stroop than a like jelly. Mm -hmm. Okay, that came apart terribly. Oh. But I need another piece because as advertised, that's amazing. Mm hmm Straight up apple. Sweet. Slightly tart. Mm. That's really good. Um, let's do the rapid. I know it might seem like a waste, but let's do the 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 eight jam challenge as we. Oh, yep. The crackers are not going to cooperate, but whatever. Okay, cranberry. It's just going to be ocean spray. Um, wow. Nope. That tastes nothing like cranberry. That's got like a bit of a floral note to it is really weird for cranberry but okay yeah I, I hmm, can't please the taste but okay uh, marmalade mm. not remotely bitter Tastes more of like an artificial orange flavor and then like a Seville marmalade or oh, raspberry. Oh my. Mm. Okay, the raspberry tastes like jello. Jello, blueberry. Oh, oh, that, mm. that tastes like perfume. That's not even like a good artificial blueberry. That's just. It's like a fragrance. Oof. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. Sour cherry. Cough candy. That's a straight up cough candy. Um, strawberry.
No, that's an artificial strawberry. And not even a good one. Um, oh, apricot, I hope. Looks a little smaller than the last one. So, last one should be peach. It's almost like a nutty, like an almond quality to it, or something. That's probably too much. Yeah, well, sorry, more of the same. That's kind of, yeah, no, back to the cheese, please. Mm hmm. The cheese is definitely apple butter first, cheese next. That might be tropical flavored, not sure. Probably get the Oh my, get the Brits hating on me for that. Because you're not supposed to squeeze your tea bag. Let's try our black tea. It's nice, strong black tea. It's good. Yeah, that's um, sorry, pretty standard. Excuse me. Oh god, I have to break these. Honestly, can't discern which is which. Or again, if this is legit or if, like it made in somebody's kitchen, so oh my. Um, and I can't. You know, might be a little suspect, the way that's sticking to the plastic. Okay. Okay, so straight off the bat, because I don't have the coof and I have a sense of smell, that is chicken breast. Black truffle and jerky.
there is no mistake in that. And that's actually pretty good. Like, all things considered. <clears throat> this one is... weird and vaguely rubbery so I'm probably thinking that's chicken as well and then this really sticky thing might be beef maybe texture is a little different Smells different. Chew is different. That's probably the beef. Um, truffle's good. Chicken's okay. Beef's okay. So. Considering when I got those, I'm not mad. Um. So let's let the bowl make a debut because I don't think I've actually had the bowl on the channel before. <clears throat> a bit of grease got out of that, but this is our beef <sighs> with buckwheat porridge. a bit of it, obviously. Pretty much retained the shape of the can. And again, a lot of the Eastern European stuff is like heavy on carbs, grease, meat. That is not bad at all. However, it could do with a bit of. And not so much salt, but I'm just kind of a black pepper hound of it. A little better to me. Try some of that. Hmm, that's good. Like honestly, it's it's dry. little bland initially, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um yeah. 
and salt and pepper. It's good. Very tasty, actually. But I think my palate is, is kind of geared more towards like Eastern European dishes. But uh, yeah, so other than this one, which we won't forget or let go. Um, wow, that's just already falling apart. So I'm not sure what the initial texture was supposed to be like, but that's kind of what we have left. There's a wafer. Hmm. Sweet. Definitely has texture, but it's like a uh, Fortman's vanilla wafer. Kind of. No chocolate, no hazelnut. It's tasty though. Anyway, um, Bourbon Street Joe here. Um, finishing this off as best as I can. This is kind of my dinner as well. Um, what was that? That. Um, Mm. Is the meal legit? Uh, I don't know. Is it good? Yeah, it would definitely tide you over for six or eight hours. Very tasty. Um, so yay, another success. Um, we'll see you all for Halloween. That'll be fun. Reverend Joe, out.